Well, just a couple weeks ago, I got home from serving as a chaplain at the big National Boy Scout Jamboree where we had over 40,000 kids. And you know what? I had to do worship services and, and things like that, but I couldn't take my puppet friends along with me because my puppet friends were too big, and I couldn't get them into my duffel bag. Critter, talk or two, green the turtle, they just wouldn't fit. So I thought, well, wait a minute, I could maybe make a new friend who would be small enough to be able to fit into my duffel bag. And let's see if he might want to come out. Hey, yeah, you gonna come out of there? No, no, I don't want to. Come on. Walk me out. I'm sorry I woke you up, but I want to show the boys and girls that you came with me to the jamboree. All right, you gonna come out now? Yeah, think about it. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you got me out. You got me out. This is my friend. Yeah, hey, how you doing? This is, uh, want to tell him your name? Stinky. Stinky Scout Sock. Yeah, see, I just took an old Scout Sock and made a new friend. Yeah, yeah. So we went to the Jamboree together. Yes, we did, didn't we? Yeah. And what did we do at the Jamboree? Well, we helped in worship. That's right. And I taught some parables. Yeah, you did. Some terrible parables. No, they weren't terrible parables, but you did. You helped me. You taught some parables. Yeah. Taught the terrible of the good San Antonian. No, 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 no. That was the good Samaritan. It was? Yes. Now you tell it your way, I'll tell it mine. <laughs> <laughs> also, taught about the, the, the pomegranate son. No, the parable of the prodigal son, not the pomegranate son. Yeah, again, you do it your way, I'll do it mine. Why? Well, so Stinky helped me with the morning worship service. We had to get up early every morning. Yeah, 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, because we had worship every morning at 6.30. And then what else did we do? Uh, we helped. Yeah, we helped at the hospital. Because we had a lot of boys and a lot of leaders who weren't feeling good. And so we helped in the recovery section of the hospital. Yeah. We helped people feel better. We talked to them. We cracked some jokes. Yeah. I told a couple jokes. Yeah, and it made them laugh. Like, what's black and white and red all over? Stinky. That's an old one. We all know that. That's a newspaper. No, it's not. The sun burns zebra. <laughs> also, dude, what, what do you what do you call a pig who knows karate? Pig who knows karate. No. A pork chop. Oh. So we told some jokes and we tried to cheer some people up. Yeah, we did. And it helped out a lot too because we made some people feel a lot better. Because what does the Bible say about a cheerful heart? A cheerful heart. You know, in the Book of Proverbs, it says what? Uh, oh yeah, a cheerful heart is like candy. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say a cheerful heart's like candy, Stinky. It says a cheerful heart is good medicine. Oh, yeah. A cheerful heart is good medicine. That's yeah. right. And so by cheering people up, we were able to help them make them feel better there when they were in the hospital when they didn't feel good. Yeah. And you know what? It's okay to do that. Yeah. I think God wants us to do that. Yeah, God does. God wants us to do what we can to help cheer people up when they don't feel good. Because, can you say it with me? A cheerful heart is what? Good medicine. A cheerful heart is good medicine. It works like medicine because it helps to make people feel better. Yeah, and we did that. Yes, and we did do that. But if you want, you can see some pictures of me and Stinky uh, at that big jam where we have a little display at the library for you to look at if you'd like to go see them. Yeah. All right. Ms. Deb, could you pray for us, please?